So Hee Haw was a popular TV show that aired from 1969 to 1992. It was created by Frank Pepiat and John Islesworth and was inspired by the rural comedy and variety show format. Hee Haw featured country music performances, comedic sketches, and guest appearances by prominent country music artists. The show had a rural and country themed setting with its name derived from the sound a donkey makes. Hee Haw. It showcased a mix of music, comedy, and down-home humor appealing to a broad audience including both country music fans and general viewers. The program's format was reminiscent of earlier variety shows like The Ed Sullivan Show and Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. <laughs> Welcome to Hee Haw! Yeah, welcome to Hee Haw with our host, Roy Clark, and our special visiting co-host this week, Reba McIntyre. And their guests this week are Loretta Lynn, Pat Boone. I did fancy. I believe that was her, yeah. And everybody sing now. Oh, we're going to have a party. We're going to have some fun. We'll be dancing in the hours before the evening. Reba McIntyre, fancy. Reba, and tell a joke or two. Country's brightest stars are here. We're we'll inviting you. Hee-haw. 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 Come on in, we're going to have a ball. Hee-haw. 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 Corporal County's calling you to hee-haw. Now here's Roy Reba. Reba, thanks for joining me this week, but I'm surprised we could lure you away from your horses this long. Well, Roy, I'm crazy about them. I like my singing, too. Well, do your horses appreciate your singing? Yeah, but you know, whenever I start singing, they start running. Well, I hope they run by this. Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, our lovely co-hostess, Miss Reba McIntyre. So obviously they did several tapings of this show. Interesting. <laughs> Meaning, I mean, this is a different set. Could be a different time. When I put on this ring I drive a new Mercedes I play tennis I wonder if they did it all in one day. Or was it a two-day shoot? I'm guessing one day. I'm digging the pink. Very 80s. I think this was 1986, um, if I remember correctly. Well, I wonder if he'll miss me. He doesn't even kiss me when he comes home at night. He never calls me honey, but he sure loves his money. And I'm the one who pays a price. Um, this doesn't sound overly country. Well, here comes the steel as soon as I say that. Don't know much about Reba McIntyre yet. Have to you Take a chance 
really enjoyed Fancy, though. It was a good song. I do prefer the original version of Fancy. But Reba's version was pretty good. Reba McIntyre on Hee Haw. <laughs> All right, Reba. Let's get to some comedy. Order at the court. Uh, yeah, hey, what do you got there, deputy? Well, now, you're honest, you won't believe this. Yeah. But I followed this young lady halfway through Cornfield County. No. And I never seen such driving. Really? First she ran over a far plug, mm -hmm. then she sideswiped a pedestrian, and then she ran through Lulu's plate glass window, and then she backed straight back into my police car. No. Now, what do you got to say for yourself, lady? Well, I don't know, Your Honor. I guess I'm just a Sunday driver. Gee. <laughs> you know, it's no wonder so many people go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Empty Arms Hotel. Hey, can I have my breakfast served in my room? Why, yes, and I want you to know that we have the finest eggs that we've had for months. I don't want any eggs you've had for months. Oh, that's funny. Hey, let's go to that room. <laughs> Here is today's etiquette question. Where should a girl's skirt stop? <laughs> Just before a boy's interest does. <laughs> Personally, I feel sorry for a man who says oh, he can't see goodness. the right through. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Personally, I feel like you can't get through this joke, Kelly. <laughs> Personally, I feel sorry for a man who, who says are these he can two? see right through a woman. He's missing the best parts. <laughs> hey, back in Mayberry, it seemed like the ladies that screamed the most about the straight and narrow were usually built that way. Now here's one of the smoothest voices around. From the TV show. Tell me about Pat Boone. I've heard the name. Most of my clothes are just t-shirts and jeans My favorite foods are tacos, burgers, and beans Wouldn't you know She likes her caviar and lace I like my guns and my fishing poles Hunting dogs, rock and roll She'd rather knit a brand new sweater or just bake a cake. What a pair we My kind of girl, man. <laughs> Make me a sweater and hook up that cake. You know, I'm kind of partial to carrot cake, lemon cake. I'm fine with that. What a pair we made. Have my buddies over on a Saturday night. Pop some red barker when we're watching the fights. She looks for all those old sad movies, cause they make her cry. Sometimes I run with a noisy crowd She knows I gotta have my music loud She drug me to the symphony But I just couldn't stay away What a pair we made But when Opposites do a try What a pair we made is that what he's suggesting here? With no one else around What a pair we made Funny song I remember when we first got together Nothing here pulling me in um, The lyrics are funny 
what a pair we made. And when the sun goes down, I don't think he has a particularly interesting voice. I need to listen to some more Pat Boom, I'm sure. But as far as this song goes, <laughs> give me the cake. Put on some Bach. Pat Boom. Not so much. Checking out a little hee-haw. Hold on to your hearts, girls. Here is the talented and handsome Keith Stevo. Keith who? I didn't catch that name. Well, it was Friday night at the Paradise, and I was out to have some fun. All right. In the back with the good old balls and not bothering anyone. Uh huh. Quite like still of the night, she was standing in the door. Was she? Jeans and I've never seen a woman like her before. So I made my move, and Lord, I was cool as I stepped across the floor. All right. She said I knew that I was in trouble this time for sure. She was a straight shooter. She didn't miss her rock, she went for the heart. Play that film. Was a straight shooter. She got to where it hurts, and it just gets worse every minute. To where apart. Oh no! Play that still, man. Well, I do declare her golden hair was more than I could stand, and the way she walked and held herself would make a fool out of any man. So I asked her name, and she did the same, and I said, "Your place or mine." Looked to me and it was plain to see that she'd never been that kind. She told me that she never had a man that she could trust. And then she reached for me and it was destiny. Another good man bit the dust. Oh, was a shooter. She didn't miss her rap, she went for the heart. Like the song. She was a straight shooter. She got me where it hurts. Love the guitar playing here. Please, in the comment section, who is this dude? Is he someone I should be aware of? The song is cool. Up tempo. Friday nights at the paradise are not the same for me. While the good old balls are just cranking up, I'm turning on my TV. Good night, when I turn out my light, she's lying next to me. And I know that I'm as close to heaven as I'm ever going to be. Me forget, and I still regret some things that I have done. But the smartest move that I ever made was I hanging up my guns. She was a straight shooter. She didn't miss a straight rock. shooter. Is that good or bad? Play that fiddle, man. Should I be aware of this? I missed the name. Um, I like the song. Straight Shooter. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, Kenny, what yeah. kind of guy is Archie Campbell? Reba, Archie is the kind of guy who'd park his car in front of the church and then walk three blocks down the street to the pool hall. <laughs> <laughs> grandpa, you're not the only grandpa around here, you know. I got 12 grandkids myself. 12? 
Mm-hmm. Well, you don't look old enough to have that many. Well, I'm not, Grandpa, but my kids age real fast. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Lulu, whatever happened to that old nearsighted hen of yours? Well, last week she was sitting on a basket full of candy Easter eggs. <laughs> uh, what happened? Well, it turned out okay. Uh, she had two chocolate Easter eggs and a marshmallow bunny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pat. Is it the true jokes. that you're here in Cornfield County to talk about increasing dairy production? I well, get it. Sort of, yeah. I'm raising money at the Banker's Charity Benefit tonight. Oh, you're going to milk them for everything they're worth, right? Lots of moolah. <laughs> Lots of moolah. Corny. I get it. The jokes are supposed to be corny. Now uh, we're not ones to go around spread rumors. Now you got my Why attention. I really, really oh, like that hat he's wearing. So you'd better be sure and listen close the first time. Dub will not tell anyone his age. He lies and says he somehow has lost track. We tried to count the candles on his cake. But now I lie about my age. I just tell folks I'm old as my twin brother, and then I lie about his age. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the hee haw honky tonk. Right. So the resident hee haw club. Hey Doc Campbell. Yeah. You know a fella told me that I looked a lot like you. Is that so? Well, what'd you say? Nothing. He was bigger than I was. <laughs> yeah, I can... <laughs> <laughs> Say, Pat, I hear that George Lindsay's favorite love song is your version of Love Letters in the Sand. Boy, that's nice to hear, Roy, yeah. In fact, did you know that old George actually wrote his girl some love letters in the sand? Oh, yeah, I heard about that, but he didn't quite get it. See, George doesn't have that romantic touch. What do you mean? Well, he wrote his love letters in the kitty litter. <laughs> Hi, Miss Nurse Person. Would you care to dance? Oh, not now, Maynard. Uh, uh, Miss Erlene, would you, would you care to dance? No, Maynard. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about me? Oh, how inconsiderate. Would either of you care to dance with her? <laughs> <laughs> Maynard. Maynard. See, I don't discriminate. Boys, boys, boys. That's all you Skinny ever Skinny in between. Oh, now, Paul, that's chunky. just not true. Why, Victoria and I are thinking about starting our own business. What kind of business you got in mind? A zoo. A zoo? Yep. We're meeting a couple of real deers tonight. <laughs> deers. Probably a couple of chimpanzees. <laughs> I'm told the last zoo they had here was a miserable failure. The women all refused to pay the admission fee. They said they could go home and look at their big apes for nothing. 